Good evening, I'm Jeff Koinange, and this is Jeff Koinange Live. Tonight, you know if it's Thursday, it's all about inspiration, and you all, many of you, are going to be inspired because of the events that are about to happen in this country today. Before I go to that, the last 30 minutes or so, I've been having a debate on Twitter with Cole Tusker. He corrected me when I said the last time a sitting U.S. president came to Kenya was a hundred and six, seven, eight years ago, Theodore Roosevelt, 1909. But it just happened that he wasn't sitting. It was three weeks after he left office, so I stand corrected. This is the very first time a sitting U.S. president has ever come to Kenya, period. It's going to happen a week from Friday. 44th U.S. President Barack Obama coming back to the land of his father's roots. How about that? The buzz in the city. I've never seen Nairobi so clean, so prim and proper and green. All for one man? Well, we're not complaining. Tonight, we're going to get a preview of what it means for President Obama when he comes. U.S.-Kenya relations, what are we looking for? What are we looking to get? What are going to be the benefits of that? Who better than his point man in Kenya? A man who's had experience in Africa for more than 15 years, counted from Cameroon to Tunisia to South Africa, and now Kenya first came to Kenya back in 1991, came full circle two years ago when he was made the ambassador to this country. He loves to jog. Probably many of you see him running around with his security. They must be the fittest people in town. He does marathons one after the other. He's also passionate about elephants, passionate about Kenya, passionate about Africa. Let's sit back. His Twitter handle is at Bob Godek. Mine is at Koinanga Jeff. Tonight we're using the hashtag Obama in Kenya. Sit back. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Robert F. Godek. What's the F for, Ambassador? Frank. Robert Frank. Robert Frank. Bobby Godek. Frank. Bobby Frank. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. It's great to be here, Jeff. Thanks very much for bringing me here tonight. Thank you for coming. And these are, I mean, for lack of a better word, Ambassador, these are exciting times, aren't they? They are exciting. They're historic. A visit of President Obama to Kenya is going to be historic. As you said, the first sitting American president to come. And on top of his visit, of course, we've got the Global Entrepreneurship Summit. That's right. Which is also, frankly, historic. And I think will bring big benefits. Yeah, I've been seeing some of the names in the lineup of, uh, of the Global Entrepreneurial Summit. Huge, big names. Shark Tank. Shark Tank, Steve Case is coming. There'll be a number of folks here. Yep. I think that it will be uh, really an extraordinary thing. And, and I think what's really important about the Global Entrepreneurship Summit is that we'll have entrepreneurs come, so young women, all sorts of folks coming who have ideas, who are interested in starting their own companies, and they'll have an opportunity to engage with experienced business people, with venture capitalists, and maybe get some help, maybe get some money, maybe be able to create some jobs. Yeah, I'll talk about the ripple effect in a moment, Pelosi, but real quick, I mean, everybody and their mother and grandmother, for that matter, wants to see this man, wants an, an audience with this man. Mm -hmm. I mean, from Babu Owino, <laughs> who's threatening dire consequences, <laughs> to, to a group of men threatening to go naked and pee. I mean, goodness, what's going on? There is a lot of excitement. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. I will say that I've heard from an awful lot of people all over Kenya. Yeah. Um, we have gotten uh, at the embassy an extraordinary number of invitations for President Obama to visit counties, to visit organizations, to visit all sorts of places to do this event or that event. It's been quite extraordinary, the outpouring of interest. Yeah. Is, is, has it been decided? Are you still working on that program? You know, we are still working on President Obama's program. That's, that's the bottom line. Yeah. Uh, and frankly, I know everyone in Kenya wants to know what is President Obama going to do? Who is he going to meet with? Where is he going to be? Yeah. And the two things we know for sure are that he'll go to the Global Entrepreneurship Summit and he will hold meetings, bilateral discussions with President Kenyatta. Okay. A bunch of people watching us from Kogelo right now, mm -hmm. live from Kogelo. Mm -hmm. They're all wondering, I mean, they've, they've laid out the red carpet. He was there in 06 as senator. They're saying, is President Obama coming to visit us in Kogelo? You know, unfortunately, President Obama is not going to be able to visit Kogelo on this trip to Kenya. And, you know, it really comes down to the president as what's probably the toughest job in the world. Mm -hmm. And 
He has got a certain amount of time. I know he'd like to be able to spend more time. It will be a significant visit. It will be a historic visit, but it will be uh, just here in Nairobi. That's it? Just I, here in Nairobi. I think I heard TVs being smashed in Kogela right now. There's some riots happening. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, hope not. Okay, um, someone was asking earlier on Twitter, I think it was Ledama Olekina, was saying, is he going to meet Americans in Kenya? Is there an opportunity for that? You know, he will meet different people while he's here. I mean, again, you know, we are still working through the many possible events. And, and frankly, a huge number of possibilities were considered. We've been whittling them down. There's a lot of consultation that has to be done with the, gov the government of Kenya, with the, inside the American government. We have to put together a program that uh, I think is going to reflect the historic nature of this visit and, and will really allow um, the sorts of, 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 of things to happen that, that are important, the contact. Yeah. You know, because he is the first African-American president, because millions of Americans trace their heritage to Africa, because he, his own father came from here, this is really an extraordinary opportunity to connect America with Kenya, to connect America with Africa. So we've got to have the right set of events. Jeff, there's probably no one in this country who wants that schedule finalized and decided more than me. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it happening, and we will announce it yeah. in the due course of and, time. And to have a president like that on your watch, coming to your patch, I mean, how much sleep have you gotten? <laughs> Not as much as I'm used to, that's for sure. And I need a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah look, it, it is, there's a lot. There's a lot of decisions. There's a lot of uh, things that need to happen. I'm getting calls all the time, messages, requests. Um, and so it is, it, it is a lot of work. Yeah. You know what? Every bit of it's worth it because to have the president come here, have President Obama come here, and, and really help build our relations, to take our relations to the next level, that is what um, it's every ambassador's dream. It's my dream, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to that you, visit. Yeah, uh, Kenyans have been asking a lot on Twitter lately. What do we do? I mean, is, is Nairobi going to be shut down in terms of communications? Will the phone service be paralyzed? Can people be in the streets to wave at his limo? They want to do that, but they, they say, you know, there's, there'll be so much security, you won't be able to go anyway. There will be security. Look, I mean, just as a practical matter, the President of the United States, obviously, Critically important that we protect him, um, and, and I know that the Kenyan government is committed to doing that. We'll also, as I said, have the Global Entrepreneurship Summit here, so we want that protected as well. We want every Kenyan protected. So it's important that everybody who's here in Nairobi, in fact, across the entire country, be protected. So there will be security. I promise you this, we're doing our level best to minimize the impact. I know that Kenyans across certainly Nairobi have things that they need to do every day. Um, they want to go to the, sh uh, the grocery store. They maybe need to get to an appointment someplace or other. They want to go see a family member. We're going to do our best to minimize the impact. There will be impact. We'll try to minimize yeah. it. Yeah. Phone service, M-Pesa. Shut down. You know, we'll have to see ultimately what decisions are made about what is going to happen but I, again i just would emphasize on the security front we are going to do our best to minimize the impact consistent with ensuring the security of the president and kenyans across the city and across the country yeah you mentioned meeting president kenyatta is he planning to meet deputy president william ruto you know that's a question really for the government of kenya so i think we'll leave that question to them you're not going to go there well, at the end of the day, as I said, you know, we haven't really made the final decisions uh, even about all of the different meetings that are going to take place. And ultimately, you know, there'll be decisions about who is in what session and what's going to happen. But, you know, questions like that are really ones that have to go to the government of Kenya. Yeah. Okay, since, you know, we're doing requests on this show, c can I request an interview? Is that, is that possible or is that... Uh... It's absolutely possible. And as I told you before, we're getting requests from all over the country. <laughs> And I send every one of those requests that we received to the White House. <laughs> and uh, look, you know, many things are possible. He will, uh, you know, have a significant visit here. So we'll see. Yeah. I promise that I will relay that request personally to the White House. <laughs> You're going to say there's that guy who was an enemy. He sits on a bench. <laughs> I'll say something like that. I'll be d describe yeah. exactly yeah. what you do and yeah. how you do your interviews. And, and, yeah, and he'll turn to you and say, hey, Bob, are you crazy? <laughs> Best, <laughs> I want to talk more about U.S.-Kenya relations. We're talking about security. Mm -hmm.
crime. It's number one concern in this country, obviously. Mm -hmm. Other things, corruption, U.S.-Kenya relations. How can, what's going to be the spin-off effect of President Obama's visit? Let's talk about that after the break. You are watching U.S. Ambassador Bob Godick live on Jeff Koinange Live. Keep tweeting. I'm going to read your tweets very shortly at Bob Godick, at Koinange Jeff. The hashtag we're using tonight is Obama in Kenya. So many questions, so many issues. I know you all want to know so much, but we only know what we're told. <laughs> and the schedule's not out yet. We might get some more information from the ambassador after the break. Take a break. We'll be back in a moment. can you do with 50 million shillings? Firstly, I would take my wife for a holiday and then buy her a diamond ring. I think it will change my life completely and that of my family. I will do wonders. 